talk to Kaija. It's Misha Suki Steel. August ta. Okay, you get the idea. Jesus, you'd think after doing Irish for 10 years, I'd be able to speak some? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Suki Steele, and I have no real theme or idea of what I'm doing with my channel, so you don't have to watch the other video. No, you definitely have to watch the other videos to keep up. You should actually go watch them a couple times just to make sure they're very complex and well thought out, much like myself, actually. So guys, we all know why we're here. It's almost St. Patrick's Day. And I'm Irish, so that basically means it's gonna be Christmas for us again. I thought we could get the party going early or something. So I thought I'd make a list of proper ways to celebrate St. Patrick's Day and honor my main man, St. Patrick. So let's just jump into it, guys. So in case we've all forgotten, St. Patrick's Day is actually about this guy called Patrick and how he drove all the snakes out of Ireland. I know, the mad lad that he was. Don't ask him why or how he did it because the answer is probably God said so. Speaking of snakes. If you're watching this video according to my analytics, there's a very good chance you're actually Irish, which congrats guys, Azalea Banks fucking hates us apparently. Can I get an F in the chat for Azalea Banks' love for us? So for those of you who don't know, Azalea Banks actually has a war with our country for some reason, even though apparently she's the Queen of Ireland, according to her Instagram. Apparently this originated on an Aer Lingus flight, which, I mean, Azalea, honey, I get it. I've flown Aer Lingus too. It can be a rough one, even though it's kind of one of our better airlines. Does a bad Aer Lingus flight constitute all of us dying in a family again? I don't know, you know? like. I can't say for sure it does. So since Azalea Banks is the self-proclaimed Queen of Ireland, which I didn't know that's how that worked, if we can just name who the Queen is, then like, I'm the fucking Queen too, Azalea. Like, coming for your crown, bitch. I thought we'd take a little gander at what our Queen Azalea has to say about us, and maybe we could learn a little bit on how to properly celebrate being Irish on St. Patrick's Day with our main man, Azalea. Okay, so don't judge me, but I don't have AirPods. I'm not bitter about it. Some of us don't have people in our lives that'll buy us AirPods for special occasions such as Christmas or birthdays, even though my birthday's right beside Christmas and people technically had two chances to do it. I don't know, I'm not bitter about it. I don't even want AirPods. I don't even like them. Look at you, Aren't you happy to have such a queen like me? I had enough of y'all Oofa looking spray tanned, crazy looking bitches tonight, you know? The girls have scurvy, they're like vitamin deficient, they need some calcium tablets and some miscamaraderie soap. Anyways. Whoa, whoa. Why did no one tell me I had scurvy? What's miscamaraderie soap? Anyways, I'm back on the short <laughs> now. So, as much as Azalea is a bitch, um, she does have a point that is a good way to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. And while I don't have Chardonnay, I do have the next best thing. Uh, a little bit of rosé, a little cheeky rosé. Um, I have a very um, expensive white Zandafil. I actually have more, oh my god. You know, I actually have more wine glasses in my house than any other type of cutlery, so cheers. Two shots of vodka. It is currently two in the afternoon. This is a very big glass of rosé. I'm making some, some good life choices today. If there's one thing you should take away from this video, it is the fact that daytime drinking is the most important part of St. Patrick's Day. And with that being said, God, is there anything better than rosé? Yes, a really good book. All right, so let's have a quick look at some other things Azalea had said about us, um, just while we're here. Do you have a family to go die in? Not at the moment, Azalea, but fingers crossed, you know, you never know. You lot are a bunch of prideful inbred leprechauns. The rest of the world's white folk don't want to be associated with you at all, and it's because you are barbarians. Oh my God. So fair, except um, like half the world's population of white folk, at least they claim to be Irish, so... Oh, but that was a dog. It's very early to be drinking. I'm happiest knowing the Irish are quarantined on an aisle. That's a big word for you, Azalea. Good job. So they can continue to 
anybody and keep their defective genes away from humanity. Um, she knows that like we're a part of Europe, right? We can leave Ireland anytime we want to. <laughs> Anyways, I thought that was pretty funny. Real talk though, apart from singing like 212, what else does Azalea sing or do? All I do is win, 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 no matter what, got money. 212 was her, right? Azalea Banks did, she did sing 212, right? Yeah, okay, that was her. I don't, okay. She's right. Okay, Azalea. She, she, she is that one bop. Um, and then the rest of the time, I guess, she's too busy being a bitch to write any other bops. <laughs> also, if you went to her concert, do you have Stockholm Syndrome? Okay, okay. So, as much as Azalea was a massive raging bitch telling us to all go die in a famine again, despite... Does she know? Does she know? Wait, just real quick. Does she know that four million of us actually died in that famine, like half our entire population? No? Or is, she, or is she just joshing? Or is that classic Azalea, you know? <laughs> Zany bitch that she is. Okay, so Azalea gave us a good idea. Daytime drinking is always a good idea on St. Patrick's Day, so... Pour one out for Queen Azalea. Showing you how I got that title as the world's best dancer. Azalea showed us drinking was a really good idea on St. Patrick's Day. Great! But what about literature? What about our country's famous ties to all these amazing authors that were born here and inspired by us to, to leave the country because we wouldn't publish their plays and their books? I'm sure one of our most excellent writers that were born here can give us some kind of advice on how to celebrate this amazing day. Jesus Christ, the, 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 the blah, 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 blah. Jesus Christ, one, literally a sip of rosé and I'm, I'm dead. Okay, so I found a beautiful quote that really hits close to home. Um, we only need to be lucky once, but you need to be lucky every time. Wise words, wise words, Margaret Thatcher. Uh, cute, except Margaret Thatcher never said that. Actually, um, the IRA said that when they almost killed her in the Brighton bombing. So to all you Facebook aunts that are sharing that, maybe stop, because that's kind of rough. Okay, okay, so a pro tip of mine on St. Patrick's Day is to wear green. Uh, I'm pretty sure Legally, we can kick you if you don't wear green. I saw it on an episode of The Simpsons once, which means it has to be true. So, so wearing green is just a good idea. Try to eat a potato or two if you could. Try to find those four leaf clovers, like my beautiful drawn he one here. Okay, so maybe, maybe literature isn't your thing. Maybe going out in public on the day isn't your thing. I totally get it. I probably won't leave the house either. Why not immerse yourself in some of some of the best Irish films there is, or, you know, uh, films about Ireland that contain no Irish actors for some reason. The one video I wanted to look at today to immerse ourselves in Irish film would be the classic Darby O'Gill of the Little People. Try saying that three times fast when you've had a glass of rosé. Darby O'Gill of the Little People. Darby O'Gill of the Little People. Darby O'Gill of the Little People. Darby O'Gill <coughs> Okay, after birth. Anyways, um, let's take my broadcast AirPods and we'll watch um the best of the best. Of a pretty Irish girl. Oh, she is my dear, my darling one. Go ah! I called you when your food was ready, but you were making so much noise you couldn't hear me. Okay, I know I'm meant to be making fun of Sean Connery's accent here. Who the fuck is she and what the fuck was that? Oh my god, that took me out of it. I'm sober again. I'm completely sober again. Holy crap. Bored eggs and ham. Well now, aren't you the clever girl? <laughs> I was about to make a joke about how she wasn't a clever girl for making boiled eggs and ham, but I'm almost certain I couldn't make boiled eggs and ham, so you know what? She is a clever girl. That was worse than I thought it was gonna be. But again, I thought he was grand. Well, no, he was, he was, he was, he was kind of trash. She was worse than he was though. Whoever the hell she is, she should feel bad. That's like a hate crime. If fake, borderline offensive accents aren't your vibe, you could always check out our more myth 
based films, you know, such as The Leprechaun, starring your the boy Jennifer Aniston in one of her first roles, like Go Jen Go, Go Jen Go, Go Jen Go. Uh, I've never seen The Leprechaun. I don't like horror films. I've had to watch all of them because my very real boyfriend adores them. Now that I have mentioned this film, I'll probably have watched it by the next time you see me. I'll keep you updated. I don't know. Let's just jump into it and watch what I'm sure is going to be the best piece of cinema that I've ever seen. I'll never tell you. Can I call that walk? Oh, fucking... What? Run, Jen, run! Run, Jen, run! Run, Jen, run! Oh my god, this goes on for three minutes. Oh, how do you kill that for Oh, Freshly plucked from the clover patch. A four-leaf clover, freshly plucked from the clover patch. Okay, I'm done with this film. That was great. So you could watch that if you get bored on St. Patrick's Day. Another way that you could honor um, God today, my children, would be to go to church because I think St. Patrick's Day is a religious holiday. Um, we used to get the day off school anyways, and I have the day off work. Um, as I was saying, uh, a, 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 a way to honor our Lord and Savior, St. Patrick, would be to pray for snakes to never come back. Um, just want to cross-examine this for a sec. I'm almost certain snakes couldn't survive here because they're cold-blooded, but no. Maybe St. May, no, maybe St. Patrick did it. Maybe St. Patrick went off in those snakes. What's my point? Ooh, or you could get your door kicked down like I did one year, which was super fun. Was literally on my way out when we heard a giant bang and the door literally was kicked down. That, honestly, the door being kicked down was kind of like the highlight of my day. They just gave me the best excuse to cancel my plans and not go out, which made me a happy bitch because I could just stay in. And that brings me to my last point, guys. You could just stock up on pizza and booze and snacks and just stay inside because it's the worst day of the year. I'm ending this on a really bad note. Listen, you know what? Ignore me. Maybe I don't like St. Patrick's Day. I'm a buzzkill, I'm kind of boring. If I was an ice cream flavor, according to BuzzFeed, I'd be vanilla. If you enjoy St. Patrick's Day, you go, girl. You get out there, or boy, maybe. Mm. And you get out there, and you ha Glasses out to my main man, St. Pat, and we celebrate the fact that we don't have snakes in this country anymore. How we got to this point where we just drink and wear green all day, I don't know. How he's our patron saint, I also don't know, because I think he's British. But you know what? You know what? Pour one out for St. Patrick and Harambe. Lying on the floor, Harambe, Harambe. <sighs> anyway guys, I hope you have a very nice St. Patrick's Day. Um, I hope you get so drunk you can't even fucking remember it, dude! If you made it to this point in the video, that means we're acquaintances. So you may as well like this video to become friends, and you may as well subscribe to become best friends. Let me know how you celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Or if you're from somewhere that's not here, what's it like celebrating it there? Do you enjoy the Leprechaun movie? Do you miss friends? Jennifer Aniston's the best, like if you agree. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Slam on! Do you guys like my jumper? It's ombre, like my hair. Guys, I have like shit to do today. I really shouldn't have had that one glass of rosé. <laughs>